everyone, it's Julie Ann here for Honey Bee Stamps and welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I created this Merry Christmas shaker card using some new goodies from the holiday cheer release as well as some older goodies you might already have. I'm going to be starting out my card today by first creating my ink blended background and I'm going to be using my Distress inks for this in the colors Blueprint Sketch, Chip Sapphire, and finally Black Soot. Now I have already trimmed down a piece of Distress watercolor cardstock to A2 size which is four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm going to start out by ink blending with using my lightest color of Blueprint Sketch and I'm going to be ink blending that color mainly in the center of my panel for a center highlight. Now I will end up actually die cutting out the center of my panel later on in this video so I'm not too concerned about it being perfect. Once I have that color down I'm now going to come in with Chip Sapphire and I'm going to be adding that color around the edges of my panel blending that color in towards the middle and then finally I'm going to come in with my darkest ink color which is going to be black soot and I'm just going to be adding a little bit of that around each of the edges as well. Now in order to get a really nice blend I will come back in with chip sapphire first and then I'll come back in with my lightest color again the blueprint sketch in order to blend everything in together. With my background off to the side drying I'm now going to start working on stamping out my Christmas tree and for that I'm going to be using the brand new farmhouse tree builder stamp set which is a layering stamp that has three separate layers in order to create some really easy and pretty trees. Now for my cards today, I am just going to be using the first and second layers to create my tree, but you can definitely use all three layers. For the first layer, I'm going to be using the colors Meadow and Emerald City in my Pink Fresh Studio inks in order to get an ombre effect for my tree. Now I have already stamped it once, but it is such a large solid image that you will need to stamp it twice or maybe even three times in order to get a solid impression. Now for the second stamp that I'm going to be using to give my tree some depth, I'm going to line that up down at the bottom of the stamp. And even if you don't line it up exactly right, it still looks really great. And that's what I love so much about this layering stamp. For the second layer, I'm going to again be using some more of my Pink Fresh Studio inks, but this time I'm going to be using the color Evergreen. And I'm going to be stamping that three times just to make sure I get a really nice dark impression, but you definitely do not need to do that. Once I'm happy with how it looks, I'm just going to lift that up closer to the camera so you can see just how pretty this is. Now I did do two additional Christmas trees because I really thought I was going to use all three of them for my card, but I decided against that. Next I'm going to start working on adding in all of my embellishments inside of my shaker. I'm going to be adding in a few white as well as some iridescent snowflakes. And I will be adding in some clear embellishments as well. And all three of those are going to make it look as though it's snowing in my shaker, kind of like a snow globe. Once I feel as though I have enough embellishments, I'm then going to be adhering down the top portion of my shaker, which is the background panel that I ink blended earlier. And I have added some foam adhesive to the back of that panel in order to create my shaker well so that all of those sequins can move about freely. Once I have that all adhered, you can see just how pretty this is. This is definitely my favorite part of creating a shaker card when I first flip it over to see how it all comes together. Next, I'm going to be adhering my Christmas tree down to the front of my card, and I'm going to be adhering that in the center of my shaker window. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I did originally plan on having all three of those trees on my card, but it just ended up covering up too much of my shaker, so I decided to just do the one for my card today. I did adhere the tree using some liquid adhesive, and once I have that all adhered, I'm then going to be adhering the Mary die cut sentiment that is from the brand new Mary buzzword. I did die cut out that buzzword using some red glitter cardstock. I really love having red and navy blue together. I'm going to be adhering that sentiment down to my card using some more liquid adhesive. And I'm just going to place that die cut sentiment directly over my Christmas tree. And then using that same Mary buzzword stamp set, I did stamp and white heat emboss some of the sentiments that are included in the set onto some black cardstock, and I'm going to be adhering those down to my card as well, so that way my sentiment reads, Have a Merry Christmas. And then to finally finish off my card, I'm going to be adding a few more clear sequins to the front of my card around my sentiment, and once I have those all adhered, that's going to complete my Christmas tree shaker card using the brand new Farmhouse Tree Builder stamp and die set. I just love creating shaker cards. I think they are such a fun added element to your cards, especially during the holidays. So I hope my card today has inspired you to create one as well in order to send someone this holiday season. 
I want to thank you all for stopping by and spending some time with me. I really do appreciate it. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, as well as subscribe for even more card making ideas. If you're interested in any of the supplies I use, they will all be listed and linked down below in the description box. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time and happy crafting.